We are about 200 miles away from home out in the desert. We're doing a little camping this evening. Um, it is going to be pretty chilly. We had a change, a drastic change in weather. It's going to be in the upper 30s or low 40s, which is frigid for this desert boy. And uh, hopefully get to see a couple of cool things. I don't know about tonight because we only got about an hour left for, for sunlight. And uh, we may have to go scope some stuff out in the morning. I apologize in advance for the sunlight being in your eyes, but there's not a whole lot I can do about where the sun sets. We'll see you at camp. couple of places picked out to camp at. I just don't know how suitable they're going to be. Very pretty out here in the desert. Very comfortable this time of year. Although we've had a little cold snap. call it now it's uh, a little bumpy and it's hard to see with the shadows surface Trying to get up in these little uh, rocks up here. There's uh, caves in them.
unfortunate thing about hills is that they're hills and there's not a nice flat spot to camp on. So I'm thinking right up in here somewhere would be nice. Well, there we go. We had a little oopsie. And I should have known better than that. Well, let's get her stood back up and find a super suitable place for her. I hate to do it in the road, but maybe that's where we're going to go.
So before it gets any darker, I figured I'd just give you a quick shot of the camp. And uh, tomorrow morning, I think we'll maybe do a little walk around here. And if I can get to it, there might be a mine up the road here. We can uh, go poke our heads in. But uh, here we go. Obviously, these guys saw me set up the tent. My awesome chair. There's a beautiful mountains behind me. Mountains just about all the way around. Out there, you can see a giant chicken farm. <laughs> um, I think that's uh, is it Cactus Rose or something like that. Chicken farm. And the tiny little dot of a town of Baus. They're about uh, 25, 30 miles away from here. And this is what I came up here for with this, was these little caves. That'd be a cool place to camp. I wasn't going to camp in them, although I have I have camped in caves before. And I'll link the uh, link the video. Whoops. This is no good for uh, motocross boots. But there's a few of them up here. There's a little chain of these hills. It's a little chain of these hills that go along here, and there's there's a few of these little windblown caves. But I'm gonna have a seat myself some water and relax. So I ended up getting my water and got dinner, some salted almonds and um, Slim Jims. So I do have some stuff to cook but I don't really feel like getting the stove out messing with that it's kind of getting late but uh, we will forge on here um, I'm gonna enjoy the sunset and the moonrise I don't know if you guys can see that there's a moon over there it's always tiny on camera it's pretty good size about uh, let's say uh, silver dollar size this evening um, but the uh, sky is just gorgeous Well, that was one heck of a meal. So, nice and quiet here. Um, this area does kind of get some side-by-side uh, -side traffic a little bit later on in the year. But uh, coming in, I didn't see any trailers or campers or stuff on the out by the road. So, I should be in pretty good shape tonight. Um, definitely don't want to try to pick that bike up again. Between that... Um, on my way in there may be able to see it. Uh, this is my secondary camera um, I chipped the lens a little bit dropped that so not my night For sure, but anyway at least I'm out camping riding my motorcycle and having some fun so uh, Basically right now what's this we're in what's called or just getting into what's called the Plumosa mountains So I've got tonight I got tomorrow morning um, just try to enjoy a little peace and quiet here. It is ear ringing quiet right at the moment, which is awesome. Well, all right, we made it through the night. I'm just waiting for some sun to poke up over the hills and uh, we'll get going. Absolutely beautiful sunrise this morning. All right, let's walk around a little bit here on the, the caves. Those are the two we camped in front of last evening. This is just a mound of sedimentary conglomerate rock. So 
at some point in time this was a bottom of a stream river lake bed and all this stuff got uh, compressed down and now it's starting to decompose that it's been exposed to rain and wind and Let's see if we can hop over the other side and not get snake bit. Motocross boots are not the best to hike in. I do have hiking shoes in my bike, but take a look at this. Pretty cool, huh? You can tell where it's coming apart, see those layers coming off. And all this, while somewhat done by water, it's mostly done by wind or blow holes. The wind blows against it and pushes off little specks every day, every hour, every minute. And you could actually tell that in the tent last night because you could hear almost like a sprinkle and it was just the uh, rocks coming down. Absolutely beautiful. They don't go in very far, otherwise I'd go over to them. But they they just basically are just, you know, five, six feet deep or so. And just where, where the wind digs away at it. Well, we're going to head over my shoulder here and um, go see a mine. stop here hopefully it's an old mine absolutely beautiful morning there's a few clouds out which for us is kind of a treat we can go several months without seeing clouds although we've been back in a good rain pattern here Find a nice level spot to park in. There we are. I'm gonna do this quickly. Just with the helmet cam. There's a opening up there, but I think that's a natural deal. There's no, I don't see a name for this mine. I'm not familiar with it, so I'm not gonna wander down in. See if I can collect some more info on it and maybe next time I'm out here we can take a little walk in. The portal looks big but the adit is pretty small. Some of it's collapsed in there but the uh, the opening gets down to about maybe four and a half five feet around which is not small by any means but I'm guessing this came out farther and maybe collapsed and they pulled it back and the portal moved back in. 
but probably a little gold mine of somebody's not a big producer otherwise you'd see a town here and stamping mill and all that kind of stuff but there's your gold mine over there's where we camped all those little rounded hills that's where the caves are well we'll jump back on again and head back out towards pavement Thanks for watching appreciate you watching please comment subscribe like and share i want to encourage you to get out on your motorcycles put a tent in the backpack on go camp somewhere get a hotel room do some motorcycle traveling thanks again guys adios